um, I had tried a different program and um, everything was super restrictive. So I was following it like exactly to a T, but I wasn't learning anything. What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Rose. I am an online health and fitness coach for women. I have a program that will teach you how to achieve your dream plant-based body. If you're interested in working with me, program application is below. So this client lost 30 pounds while eating all of her favorite foods, and I'm gonna show you three of her favorite single serve snacks. What is up you guys? I am here with Daphne and she has lost over 30 pounds in the last year working with me in PLCU and she is here to talk about how she was able to do that while eating all of her favorite foods. So Daphne, I will open it up to you. Give us a little summary about yourself and where you were at before joining PLCU. Okay, so yeah, um, we had talked about it right before I joined the program. I had tried a different program and um, everything was super restrictive. So I was following it like exactly to a T, but I wasn't learning anything. So it was very boring food. It was just like a protein and a vegetable. And I would prep that because I thought that was just the way to do it. Um, but since I am now learning all the macros, there's so much more room and flexibility. Um, I can kind of move things around and eat what I want. And I'm so much happier. Um, Cause yeah, like when I was finishing that program, I just like knew like, it's like, where do I go from here? I have no idea what I'm doing. So. Exactly. And now <laughs> Daphne has been out in the world on her own, maintaining and progressing. So I would say <laughs> Daphne, like that should be your biggest accomplishment, but what would you say your biggest accomplishment was in the last year since joining? So I stuck in the learning for me, I think, because I always wanted it. I felt like, oh, the easiest way is just to like have this thing and just follow it. Um, but learning again is like definitely the key to like keep progressing. Um, so sticking with that and actually learning what I need to do for sure. Yes, the last question is, what would you say to someone who's on the fence about joining? Oh, it's, I mean, it's worth its weight in gold. You totally have to do it. I just feel like um, <laughs> one of the things I wrote was it's kind of like um, you're riding a bike and you have to take off the training wheels. It's like you have to have like your mom or your cousin or someone like helping you. Like you have someone along the way and that's like so important. Um, it's just like you can't do everything. So why wouldn't you enlist in help from someone that knows what they're doing? Um, yeah. Let someone else that knows what they're doing help you and you'll get there. It's totally worth it. So The most common question I get asked is, Rose, what foods should I be eating for fat loss? And I want you to reframe that to what foods do I want to eat to make me feel good on the inside? And also, what foods do I enjoy? Because when it comes down to it, food itself does not drive your fat loss. It is the amount of total food that you're eating. A calorie deficit will drive fat loss. So what foods you fill that calorie deficit with will result in how good you feel on the inside. So what you should do is focus on filling your plate with healthy, wholesome, whole grains, fruits and vegetables, protein sources, healthy fat sources. Stick to those whole and natural foods and have that balance with that vegan pizza on the weekends, but learning how to make the majority of those healthy foods that you're eating taste really, really good, foods and recipes that you look forward to, that is how a healthy lifestyle becomes something that you just do, where it's not a chore, where you look forward to the foods that you are eating. So I will show you guys three delicious single serve high protein snacks to help you build your healthy lifestyle. So this first snack is what I call poop pudding. And I promise it tastes a lot better than it sounds. All you're gonna need is some mashed sweet potato, some cocoa powder, some date paste or maple syrup, and then peanut butter powder. If you are losing fat, 
Powdered peanut butter is a great option to still keep that peanut butter taste that you enjoy, but a lower fat version. So I will be using my food scale and putting the recipe down below in the description. So I'm turning my food scale on and I'm going to measure out the amount of sweet potato that I want. And if you've never used a food scale before, you can then tear it and then add the next ingredient. So I'm gonna add my date paste for the sweetness. Then I'm going to add a scoop of powdered peanut butter. And remember, you could use peanut butter regular peanut butter as well. Add that in there. And then we are also going to be adding our cocoa powder. And you can also add in some vanilla and a little bit of sea salt if you desire as well. So all you're gonna do with this is just mix this all up until it becomes a nice thick pudding. And what I recommend is to have this, you could meal prep this, keep it chilled in the fridge and even in the freezer too, you can freeze it and it becomes like an ice cream freeze and it's perfect for summer as well. Okay, so it is going to get this consistency and it is so good. And another thing you can do if you need more protein is just add in protein powder. The next Snack is going to be a protein mug cake. So number one thing you guys need is a mug. So you're gonna put that on your food scale, zero it out. And the protein powder that I'm using, I really like this brand, it's called Ant Supplements. So I'm gonna do a scoop of this. And of course you guys, having protein powder is completely optional. However, having a protein powder is of course going to add another supplement of protein to your diet. And if you get a nice flavor, it can make it taste super good. It's easily digestible and allows your body to be able to build some muscle and also keeps you full. So scoop of protein powder. You could do some cocoa powder to make it chocolate. And then I'm taking my date paste, super versatile, and doing a little bit here for our sweetener. I am then going to add in some whole wheat flour, just a tiny, tiny bit, and then a little bit of baking powder. And this, again, you can prep this on Sundays into little jars, and then you can either eat the batter cold, some of my clients like doing that, or what you can do is then just pop it in to the microwave whenever you wanna eat it. So then I'm going to be adding in the applesauce for kind of like acting as the oil replacement. And then what you guys can do is put that powdered peanut butter in there as well, or you can use regular nut butter as well. Okay, so the next thing you need is plant milk of choice. I'm going to be doing a quarter cup of that. You can also use a splash of water as well. And then all you're gonna do is just mix this batter up and then put it in the microwave for one minute and 40 seconds. Okay, so the batter's gonna look like this. I'm gonna put it in the microwave, be right back. Okay, so I just got it out of the microwave. Be careful, it might be hot and it looks very unappetizing, but I promise what you could do is put some toppings on there and it is the perfect satiating snack for your sweet tooth. And our third snack is gonna be for all of you guys who have a crunch tooth a savory high protein vegan queso dip. So a hack that I've discovered is you can take any kind of sauce and add unsweetened pea protein powder to it. The protein powder will act as a thickener and then you can have a protein packed savory snack dessert as well. So all I'm gonna do is measure this out. I'm gonna have the recipes linked below in the description, don't worry. I added a little bit of water as well to thin it out. And then you guys can add in as much of this as you want. I'm only going to do 10 grams. And I promise it's just going to make it nice and thick. You won't even taste it. And this is actually a hack if you want to make vegan mac and cheese the really, really fast way. So I'm going to heat this up in the microwave and then eat it with some air fried chips that I will show you guys in one second. And now you can serve it with some air fried tortillas. A really, really good hack is to take either 
corn tortillas or any kind of tortilla or flatbread that you like, cut it into triangles and then air fry it. And it's just like having a regular chip. What you also can do is use jicama sticks or carrots, of course, or something crunchy and then dip it with this as well. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. And if you take one thing from this video, if you are right there watching this and you are just struggling to lose fat, focus on the foods that you love. Learn how to fuel your body with 80% of those wholesome foods and that balance of vegan pizza and then it is something that you can stick to for the rest of your life. So recipes to all those snacks are below and stay tuned to this channel. I've got a lot of amazing things coming and I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching.